Okay, so hello and good morning. Welcome to this tutorial on the usage of the PCR thermal cycler. This is a common instrument found in most molecular biology labs. I will begin by teaching you how to program the instrument and how to operate a basic run. So to begin, we commence by turning on the thermal cycler's power unit and waiting for it to stabilize. As you can see, there will be two green lights which will be turned on followed by two red lights. So this indicates that the heating and cooling blocks are functional. Okay, so the machine then undergoes a self-test. As you can see, we, this machine employs two thermal blocks. Okay, so each one has a 48 well format. The machine is from BioRed and is fairly robust. Okay, while waiting, it's a good idea to keep your PCR tubes ready. Some manufacturers may recommend the use of ice prior to commencement of the reaction, but in this case, we use a standard PCR which does not have to be incubated on ice. Okay, so let's begin by begin, uh, assuming that you have a program installed in the system. So the system can be programmed to hold individual programs. So we begin with the run key. So as you can see, there's a proceed button over here. So as we scroll through this list, you can see it highlights and capitalizes the fonts. So I begin at run. So I begin with run by selecting using the proceed key. As you can see, this machine has individual folders. Okay, so I'm going to select the folder called main and select the proceed key. So now we have various programs which have been basically input into the machine by different programmers. So we select this, the first program over here and then we press proceed. The machine will first prompt me by asking me which block that I intend to use. So in this case I intend to use block E so I select block E. And as you can see, there will be a flashing light which indicates block B has been selected. You then press the proceed key. It will then ask you if you need to use a heated lid. Now, when you use PCR, conventional PCR, which employs higher temperatures, it is always recommended that you use a heated lid. However, if you do use this machine for restriction enzyme digestion, of DNA, please do not use a heated lid as this will inactivate the enzyme. So in this case, I am going to perform PCR, so I select the heated lid. Once I select, by default, I proceed. Okay. Now the machine will begin by preheating the lid. As you can see, this machine has a, pre has a lid, focus on the lid, which is being preheated. So this is the lid, which is a hot plate. And this is the thermal block, which is a Peltier cooler and a Peltier heater. Now it's a good idea to test if the block is functional by gently touching it. It should be warm, but not hot. Okay. So what this essentially does is it creates a higher temperature on the top of the lid, which facilitates the reaction and prevents evaporation of the PCR mixture. So once the PCR lid is heated up, Okay, so it's still preheating. It will say the block temperature is stable. Okay, so now it has begun completed the process of preheating the lid. If you need to load, you press the pause key over here. Okay, and then you load your PCR tubes, a PCR mixture into the valves. Okay, so these are the blocks. Okay, you've now completed loading the tubes into the block, close the lid gently, depress this lever and turn the knob until you just face some resistance. Please don't over tighten as this will result in the breakage of the tubes. Okay, this process is completed. Okay, now we proceed to this button we press Proceed and the reaction will complete. 
Now, upon completion of your reaction, which may take between one to two hours, depending on your program, you press the stop key, the press the stop button, okay? The machine will ask you whether you truly want to stop or no, so you just default yes, proceed. The, pr the PCR reaction is now complete. You may open the block, retrieve your tubes, and proceed to downstream application of your PCR product for cloning or for electrophoresis. Okay. So this short video tutorial has introduced you to the way in which you use the PCR thermal cycler. Thank you for watching. For more videos, please log on to our website which will be displayed in the description of this video. Thank you.